Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. After the end, we're playing as Commander in Chief Aladdin of the Mouse. We're betrothed to a brilliant girl who is. We've got to wait another six years yet, but hopefully we can get some really good kids and start playing that eugenics game a little bit more. We've got to play tall for a little bit. Now, I know people are going to hate me saying that, but it's. The issue is, as it stands right now, we're surrounded by Upland, who are much, much more powerful than us. 30,000 members are 20,000 men. Um, and we don't really have any good claims, actually, on, on any of these provinces up along the east coast here. So, I'm quite happy to bide my time. Um, we could always take out what's left of the, uh, the Colombian Confederacy here, but, but going to war for the sake of going to war, especially when we are at 40% threat, I'm quite happy to let that tick down, build ourselves up, work on our retinue somewhat. Now, one thing I have completely overlooked is we have the access to, uh, the bodyguard buildings, which increase retinue size by 500 per tier. And you can get four tiers of that. So that, coupled with our uh, military organization, is going to give us a decent amount more retinue. Now, we've already got that anyway. We've actually already got a decent retinue size available to us, which we need to fill up. So I've got our uh, spy master here. I've got our, sorry, secretary of our treasury collecting taxes in Orlando, which is going to give us a little bit of an extra bonus. Not only that, I've also got a plot on revoking the county of Tampa. Now, Tampa has a trade route through it. It's also right next to our capital, so actually revoking this is probably not a bad idea. The issue is this guy is, uh, oh, he's the District of Bahama. Okay, and so it doesn't even matter. I was going to say if he is the um, du jour uh, duke of the Sun Coast, then he's going to get a little bit annoyed at us, but it's actually some other guy completely, um, wherever this kid is. Oh, right down the south here? This is all one duchy? Really? No. He's a double duke. He has Miami and the Sun Coast. So we could also try and revoke the actual district of Sun Coast on top of it, but for now I want to get a trade post. You know, expand our own digital realm, because our domain size is 4 out of 9. So if we could really start grabbing back sort of this Floridian Peninsula. Is that the right uh, conjugation for that? Floridian? I'm not sure. Anyway, that's what we'll go for. Your Uncle Roland is requesting approval to travel with foreign merchants. Absolutely. So we've done this event a couple of times. We've already got a good return from it, in my opinion. So off you go. Right. Not only that, we're part of the Bankers Guild, obviously, which is buffing up our tax. And, of course, we can liquidate our shares as well and get pretty much an instant payout. So, we've got a lot going for us right now. We can revoke the county of Tampa with 146% chance plot power. What I'm also going to do... Where is he? He's in the Bahamas, isn't he? That's a little bit annoying. But he's also got men there already, sieging him down. What, are they pirates? Um, we could just move our troops in Tampa before we send off this request, just in case he does say now. I'm not sure how it works. Um, yeah, there we go. War it is. Okay. So that's immediately going to grab us the war goal there and help us uh, help us along a little bit. Now, it's going to make a vassal dislike us, but he's not a particularly relevant vassal, seeing as he's got, you know, just the province of the Bahamas after this. So, not a big deal. Um, this guy, yeah, okay, sure, we'll go for it. I was going to try and put someone on the council who didn't really like us that much to try and balance out the vassals a little bit. But, you know, a spy master is probably pretty important while we've still got enemies kicking around. Let's get our commanders sorted here. Um, do we want to take a boat over to the Bahamas? Probably. They do have a decent amount of line in Cuba as well, but they don't actually have too many men. 4,000 versus our 19,000, I think we'll be fine. We'll go ahead and we'll set a, uh, a boat rally point then for here, I guess. This this coast of Colliver. Colliver? Florida. Uh, Carn Carnaveral? That's definitely how you say that. We'll put a rally point for our troops next to it as well, just to make things a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and raise everyone. Now, we don't want any troops in the Caribbean to get uh, instantly smashed. So I'm going to go ahead and disband those guys. Just because they're not really going to play into the war too much anyway. We might just be able to get away with sieging down Tampa. Because that is the war goal, obviously. By the time we actually get troops over there, ticking war score might let us win it. We've got some righteous imprisonment. Colonel Octavius II of Augusta. What is he trying to do? I should probably turn off auto stop plots because it would help us uh, would help us deal with unruly vassals a little bit here and there. He's just trying to fabricate a claim on the district of Suncoast, which is what we're going to try and get. Okay, I'm not too bothered by that. Um, this is some random mirror in our court again. War can be profitable, but for a money lander, but not when it arrives on your own doorstep. Sure. So, I suppose playing tall probably wouldn't hurt for a bit while we're in the Bankers Guild, seeing as apparently war is, uh, quite negative for us in that case. Alright, this should be over in no time at all. Do they actually have any troops? Because otherwise we're not going to be able to get any battle war score at all. Um, is he leading troops? He is leading troops. Where is he leading troops then? Um... Down in Haiti, are they actually in the middle of a massive holy war as well? Um, let's take a look here. Yeah, Bahaman holy war for Dominica. Right, we actually picked a good time to do this then, I guess. Oh, that's unlike me. Normally I just do it without thinking of uh, anything else that's happening. Oh, damn it, these pirates are going to get the... They're going to get the war goal for this. That's annoying. Um, I guess we'll go for somewhere else first until these guys die to attrition? I don't think they're actually going to die to attrition, are they? 
All right, 44%. How are we doing in... Uh, we've got Tampa completely controlled. I'm happy to sort of keep our retinue around, seeing as we don't really want to boat them back, just for convenience. And we've got more than enough men to do it anyway, so... All right, well, this is going to take much longer than I thought. We could go and actually kill some of his troops over in Haiti. A little bit annoying, because obviously those are, would be our provinces if we let him win. Go ahead and land here and just move over. Oh, we're leading troops. I don't like that with 8 Marshall. That's probably not the best idea. Let's go ahead and uh, forbid ourselves from doing that. Awesome. Right. And you guys are going to lead... Damn it, game. You guys are going to lead the army for me. There we go. Should we wait for our morale to increase? I mean, it probably won't matter that much, but we might as well. Save some troops here and there. This guy did warrior. Um... No, the war will soon be won. Now, we should probably look into getting some alliances as well if we are going to go to war with Upland. Um, free gold? Okay, I guess war doesn't affect us that badly then. Uh, if we are going to go to war with that one, we should probably look at making some alliances with the other Americanist uh, states. The other Americanist um, kingdoms, which are nearby. Probably wouldn't hurt too much. All right, perfect. County of Tampa, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, we can put these guys down, put the boats down. And hopefully that won't interfere with their war with Haiti so much. Hopefully they'll still win that. So obviously it, it becomes our land via proxy. Uh, I'm going to bribe him and sort of pay him off a little bit. Maybe even send our Secretary of State over there to try and re-improve relations with him. Offer to join war. That will also help. Oh, we can't because it's our vassal. Yeah, okay. It's an external vassal war, so never mind. All right, advisor. Um, let's see. So this guy doesn't really like us too much, but we're looking to keep our powerful vassals obviously on side, seeing as they're going to have the most troops. That's a bit better. Um, designated regent. Again, any powerful vassals... Or any vassals that don't really like us. Harrison, the Colonel of Bahamas, seems the most appropriate choice here. Master of the Horse, again. Harrison, you can have that. Food Taster is a negative, so we don't really want to give that one out. Humbert and Postmaster can go to you. All right. I think we want to be hosting feasts as often as we can as well, and we can compose a book. Nice. Um, managing around, definitely. Um, Gains rate Lustful. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I'll definitely take Lustful. No, we didn't get it anyway. Oh, well, never mind. And we obviously want to work on becoming excommunicate. Now, one of you pointed out that I was a fool and accidentally bribed the complete wrong person, the district judge, rather than the head of the religion. President Thomas Bracker. All right. Um, here's some gold for you. And we'll also ask if he'll lift the excommunication. Yes, he will. Thank you very much. All right. That's going to help us out a lot more. <laughs> I didn't realize it was quite that straightforward, to be honest with you. Um, what do our vassals think of us now, then? Rank. Um, we've only actually got one Duke that dislikes us. Everybody else is a massive fan. Awesome. That's, that's helped out a huge amount. Right, and hopefully our uh, hopefully our Secretary of State there can repair relations with um, with the Bahamas. We do have ourselves a trade post, which is going to help out a little bit, but not a huge amount. Um, Technology is preferred plus twenty five percent. Seeing as again we were we were tribal not so long ago, that's probably not a bad idea. Um, keep probably going to go with keep here just because of the flat ten percent levy size increase. Awesome. Right, and now let's start investing some gold into our retinues. Keep our retinues up here, and then we can just chain a bunch of walls together and sweep up through the East Coast. Again, we're going to need the retinues to also balance out Upland. We want to wait for them to go into a major rebellion, something like that. The guy's incapable. So, I imagine his vassals before long will get a bit uppity. Oh, we'll say that he's also the head of the religion, isn't he? Because he reformed it. Oh, no, wait. He might have reformed it, but it was... Yeah, they have a they have a different religious head. They're, they're secular. Uh, that's awesome. Mr. Gog Bluebell. Woman that we defeated in that holy war in... Pretty much seconds. Now, one of you suggested that maybe, um, I know I was saving up for a Feast of Retinues, but this is also worth it. One of you suggested that maybe the Crusades are broken because they happen so frequently. I think it's just the fact that the religious authority for everyone is so low that we're getting a lot of, you know, holy wars, we're getting a lot of religious conversions, we're getting a lot of, um, Crusades being called, that type of thing. Just because there's a lot of religious, you know, uprisings, there's not particularly any unified religions under one church. Oh, the president died. Are we... We're still nowhere near eligible for presidency. We've got to wait 15 years yet. Hopefully by that time, though, we'll become a much better character. 28 stewardship for a blind man is pretty good. You've got to admit. You're... Okay, I don't care about people dying in the tournament, to be completely honest. We've got Colonel Owen, Judge Vasey, Judge Solon, Judge Brutus, and of course, if our own vassal could become the, uh... The president, hopefully we can get some claims for them. Don't bother me with such details. Don't bother me with such details. He seems to still be bothering me with details, friend. Coming to my title Xavier, retiring men to attack against. We've got two adventurer threats in the course of about two seconds there. Um, let's deal with Roland first. Ah, the issue is... No, I'm going to let him declare war. We won't get... Oh, shit, they're both of our house. This guy's just a bastard still, though. So if we fuck these plots up, we're going to become a kinslayer. I'm quite happy just to let them declare the wars, because I don't think they'll be able to stop us anyway. And I don't want to risk becoming kinslayer now that we're excommunicating. And we're starting to get people to like us as well. 
Um, especially as a 20 year old character, that's going to give us a massive period of time to do what we want to get done with a stable kingdom under us. I feel like that's probably not worth trying to get ourselves Kinslayer over. Um... Council vote no on imprisoning this man, because they're all returning favours to Count Farron, who happens to be this guy, sorry, Colonel Farron. Um, I'd like to actually push through a law then, to alter that. 2805, so two years. If we can get imprisonment back to us, or at least completely, on Empower the Council, that would definitely be a good start, I think. Um, this guy wants us to launch an embargo war. I'm going to say no, because we're, again, we're trying to save up some money here for, for our own problems. My Secretary of Defense covered a man of great military talent. All right, new commanders. So we'll wait for those adventurous threats. I'm quite happy to... Uh, you know what? I will. I was going to say I'll save up some gold for the adventurer threats, but actually I'm quite happy just to sink it all into retinues for now. Especially because it's going to give us a decent retinue size. Almost, almost 10,000 men in our completely fully reinforced retinue is going to be really good once we've actually got a bit more gold to afford the last of those troops. Um, and to build our bodyguard buildings too. Who should we vote for? Uh, this man of a redcoat revolt. This man of the Old Dominion. This man of the Commonwealth that is not ours or someone else of the Old Dominion. Well, that's a little bit annoying. Um, who likes us more? This guy likes us by 39. Uh, this guy likes us by minus 11. So I'm going to vote for this guy's vassals then in that case, just because I feel like he's going to do the least harm. We could also try and turn him into our friend as well. The Old Dominion is just bigger, I assume. 10,000 men, just based on looks alone. Yeah, they do have a little bit more power, a lot more provinces, because they stretch down all the way down into Old Columbia as well. All right. Um, obviously, they're never going to accept vassalization. I want to form an alliance with them if we can. Um, their heir, Prince Brutus of the Old Dominion, is unmarried. Let's see if we can arrange a betrothal between him and Miss Piggy. Yes. Awesome. Definitely. Matrilineal? No. What a surprise. All right. Let's going to get ourselves a non-aggression pact, if nothing else, which might slow us down. We can at least swallow up the rest of this sort of, um, border mess that we've got going on. Who got voted for, then? All hail Antipas Phil Lucius Harley. Congratulations. Um, let's send him a gift. Oh, we can't because we spent all our gold on rent news. I remember now. Awesome. It's going to help out a little bit. Now, can we actually form an alliance with this guy now that we have... We can offer him a non-aggression pact, even though still no. So it's because this guy is an independent ruler, right? No. Political concerns, base reluctance. How about now, though? No, still political concerns. Yeah. When he becomes king, maybe. I think when he becomes king, that he might say yes, because then obviously we're too powerful, a king and an emperor working together. He also knows that we're never going to declare war on him at that stage, so I think we may be in line to be able to do that. A safe peasant is a productive peasant. I agree. Let's spend more gold that we really can't afford to spend. Why not? What's our retinue upkeep right now? 279 gold? Oof. That is yearly. Um, but you've got to bear in mind, we're only making about... What is that with the retinue cost? Uh, to be fair, we're getting like 800 gold a year, so let's not worry about it too much. My lord, there's a noble warrior at the gates. Welcome. Now, do we want to create any duchies? Not particularly. I suppose it could make some vassals like us a little bit more, but the issue is we've got powerful dukes grabbing these titles anyway. Realistically, we might want to start dishing out some kingdoms at some point just to see what we can... Uh, see if we can't tidy up the ram a little bit. You know, it'd be easier to manage three vassal kings rather than 50 vassal dukes. Now, what do we want to revoke next? Um, home assassin, we've got... We've got all of these ones. I think Daytona Beach or... Carnaveral wouldn't be a bad idea. Now, he's also a vassal, so we might be able to do this pretty easily. Are, have either of those got a trade broke? No, they don't. Okay. Um, we'll take Carnaveral. Why not? And he's tribal as well, so I imagine... Yep, people will join our plot against him. We'll give it a go. And he said yes. Thank you very much. Is this making us a tyrant or anything? This is just, um, as I recall with the plots, you just need the 100% plot power, don't you? And I mean, it'll make this guy hate us because we're revoking his titles. Um, yeah, he steps out at minus 40, but I don't think it makes our other vassals dislike us, does it? No, we're good. All right, uh, we'll plot to revoke that one as well then. So, Daytona Beach, thank you very much. Awesome, revoke it. War it is. I'm not really worried about going to war with a guy with uh, a total of 274 troops and one tribal province. Thank you very much. And that should be the end of that. Awesome. Right, that's given us uh, a decent improvement to our domain, at least. Now, we're going to have to um, also probably try and revoke this. That's a little bit of a shame. Um, we can't even plot to revoke this guy's title, can we? Because he is a baron. Um, yeah, we can't. A little bit annoying there. 
So we could scrap it and build a new one, but obviously that's very, very expensive. This one has holding slots, though. Um, how annoying. Oh, we can hold tribal level... Can we? Can hold tribal totems without penalties for counties of your culture. Right, okay. Yeah, fair enough. That explains a lot. Good. Alright, that's a start. Obviously, we would prefer castles there, things like that. But you know what? That's not bad. It's, it's brought together our du jour duchy a little bit better anyway. Um, now, what else do we want? Do we want the rest of the Sun Coast? I feel like we probably do. So we'll try and revoke the entire Duchy of Sun Coast, maybe? Let's take a look. Um, County of... County of the Everglades? Is this not the guy in Sun Coast? Yeah, it is. But the Everglades is actually his capital. We don't want that. We want these ones. I suppose it's only promises they actually hold themselves, isn't it? So, unless we killed this guy and his family... No, 13 living members? I don't think so. We'll just try and revoke him down. Because when we revoke his last holding, what will happen is he'll automatically lose up with no penalty the um, next holding in his realm. So he'll probably just do sir, you know, this one or this one, and at which point we can just carry on with our plots. All right. Um, what do we want to take then? Everglades? Sure. And you know what? If we can take these, I might even give away those tribal lands just because they're way too expensive to try and reform. Betrothed can marry. Awesome. There we go. Sweet. Uh, how about an alliance now? Still no. Unsurprisingly. We've still got our non-aggression pack, but we'll wait for him to become the king. My acquaintance Keith Stewart died of pneumonia. I've never heard a more boring name in my life, and I apologize if any of you watching has the name Keith Stewart. Um, Assemble the mob? Yeah, why not? This is good for us either way. Again, 100 gold. I will take it. Thank you very much. All right, let's finish off our retinues then. So we've already maxed out the size to where we can get it at this stage. So we're going to need to build our bodyguard building. There we go. All right, and they're actually not taking too long to build. They're also not hugely expensive as well. We must have some building province modifier buffs here. Um, great technology, that's not right. No, we actually don't. Weird, that's just the base cost and the base build time. Seems pretty good. We'll go for the Carpenter's Guild just in case, again, we get build time and build cost. And there is our adventurer threat. All right, what's he got then? Um, 15,000 men. Whew. Okay, he did much better than I thought. Credit to him. Um, we've still got way m more than enough troops to actually win this, but... Wasn't expecting that many, I will admit. Alright, um, we'll just spend these guys down in the uh, down in the Caribbean, the Bahamas, and Cuba there. We'll bring everyone up. Oh, god, the other host war at the same time. How many men's he got? 20,000? Ooh, that's a little bit risky. Oh, god, are those my retinues? No, they're not. Good. Right. Um, oh, they've only got 150 boats there, so he's going to have to go back over to, um, to Bermuda there, pick up some troops, and ferry them over bit by bit. Okay, that's really good news. Because that means we're not going to lose a shit ton of troops to, uh, well, in, in major battles at once. Good. Um, Prince Melkor of the Mouse, go with my blessing, and take these soldiers. Sure, why not? Now, where are these other guys landing? They're gonna land up in... Oh, that's a good point. Are they... Oh, right, they're all the way up there. Sure. That's fine. Uh, they've got 10,000 men up in, I suppose, what is gonna be Columbia. Let's not worry about that too much. Not too much of a problem. I'd rather deal with one more at a time, because these guys aren't gonna be able to grab enough land to win, especially as they're all the way up there in, in rounds that really don't affect us that much. All right, are these more troops? Here they come. Oh no, 2,000 men dying to attrition as well. That's really good. Good job there. And we've got pre the president declared war on us? Why? Are you feeling okay? Probably because we've got, he's, he's basically assessed what that we're at war with, you know, 30,000 men here and thought to himself, oh, this is a really good idea. Not taking into account that these 30,000 men are pretty easy for us to deal with. Okay, well, that's one more dealt with. Thank you very much. And uh, execute him, get Kinslayer. Yeah, I thought that would be the case. Banish. Uh, is that a banish prisoner option? Am I going crazy here? Just release him, I suppose. Sure. I mean, what else can we do here? Ransom him? Oh, he does have a shit ton of gold. Yeah, I mean, we could ransom him for 10 gold, or we could just leave him in there and wait for him to die and inherit his gold. And now for our next adventurer threat. Nice, don't you? Oh, shit. We're losing gold because we're a crap banker, apparently. Well, we are at war still, so is that really not the end of the war? Oh, they've, they've got a province sieged. Right. My mistake. Oh, well, that's that's dealt with that anyway. All right. There we go. And now we've got to go deal with the president. Um, Of all the people I want to be making an enemy of, this is not somebody. I hope he doesn't excommunicate me just based on the fact that I'm going to beat him in a war. Um, My sister had a random kid. Okay. Um, We'll keep her around for marrying her off for alliances, but it's a little bit annoying. Okay. I don't know why they declared this war. That was pretty crazy. Uh, no, I think this war will be won soon. I just get the strange, suspicious feeling that it's not actually going to be a problem. 
All right, 100% war score. Problem solved. Oh, that's what it was. I, I, I had a suspicion that he might have already excommunicated us. What a dick. You can't just excommunicate me because you want to declare war on me, you fool. Maybe? Ah, uh, come on. All right, so, update on the wife situation. Uh, what have you theorized this in the comment section last episode? And I fully agree. When Reaper's Jew came out, they added uh, to CK2 a sort of character culling event. So, random unlanded courtiers with no titles and, and no relevance to the game whatsoever that are just spawned in for some reason um, are pretty much automatically killed off when the game hits a certain amount of characters in it. And unfortunately, that's been the truth of our the past two women that we were betrothed to have both just been killed off at hitting the age of 16 before we've had a chance to actually get ourselves married to them. So I found this woman here. She's the, the daughter of, granddaughter of some duke there. Um, so I betrothed myself to him, to her, I should say. She's got genius. She's capable. And we can get some prestige out of it, I suppose. Nah, I'd rather take the gold at this stage. She's actually going to be an all right wife. Um, I did actually buy a favor with her, but they, it turns out they just agreed to having her uh, marry me anyway, I guess, because we're just a, a good, strong boy. And now she's our religion as well, which is even better. Um, plus she owes us a favor from where I was going to just buy a favor and invite her to a court. But I don't think that would have worked because her granddad's a duke. But I, I mean, she's not in line to inherit, so I don't really know how it would work. Now let's actually go with our plot to revoke the county of the Everglades. Should probably move my retinues down first, but it won't matter too much seeing how much men we've got sitting around in our capital. Um, workshop in Ocala, sure, why not? Or it is. Absolutely. How many men have they got? Probably not a huge amount. 2,700. Yeah, again, I think we'll be fine here. Um, we do have more men than that just kicking around nearby. All right, and let's actually wait for some troops to get here. I don't really want to just throw some troops away randomly because I'm impatient. All right, let's bring you guys together a little bit. I must find a court physician. Oh, my wife's sick. What she got? Cam fever? Oh, that's really bad. That's like genuinely really bad. I suppose there is an epidemic here, isn't there? I should be shutting the gates, I suppose. Um, I didn't want to shut the gates because it's obviously minus 10 general opinion if you do so. So I was going to try and, you know, starve it out, if that makes sense. Just, just try and uh, avoid getting ill. So I found a decent court position, invited him to court. There we go. A guy called Bat. He's another mm, he's another atomicist. We haven't had good runnings with uh with atomicist uh court physicians, that is. Oh well. It's better than nobody, which is uh what we have right now, and I couldn't even hire a court physician either. Court chooser. Uh we're looking for someone with pretty decent stats then. Um or pretty decent traits, I should say. She's not terrible. She'll it's, again better than nothing. Right. Let's deal with these guys and actually get ourselves some titles for once. All right, head you guys south. They'll probably win that no problem, even without commanders. Wouldn't worry about 590 men. Not really worth the effort there. All right, let's move over. He'll do fine. Oh, we apparently I already had... Um, no, he's, he's really shit anyway, so I'm glad we got the other guy. But um, apparently I already sent one out. Who knew? This war will be over in no time at all. Good, good, good. 70%. We might as well just move you guys down to carpet siege here and there. Uh, we'll move those into the capital. We'll send 9,000. So that's the retinue. We'll send those guys down to siege in various provinces here and there. You guys can come and deal with this one. Good, good, good. Right. And that, as they say, should be that. Except those troops that I accidentally sent down to their capital that got immediately smashed. Do you want to reinforce? Nah, I think the, the cavalry will be absolutely fine. Crusade for misery. Wait, is that not... Hang on. Is that not uh, Opland? Was that a crusade they had launched against them? It was, yeah. Pope Solomon III. Hey, now will be a time to strike against them. How strong is this religion? Catholic, Christian? You'd imagine they'd be stronger than that. Just get an eye on the religious map mode here. Oh god, there's barely any. Catholic. We've got some over here in uh, New Mexico, apparently. We should probably take a look at the uh, at the ledger and see what the moral authority is looking like here. Um, ours, obviously 100% because we have the best religion. Um, those guys are revelationists, aren't they? 56%. Uh, size of the religion is 38, and then Catholic, if I can spot it on this list, we'll sort by name, um, Catholic has 72, so, assuming people actually join that holy war against Upland, they might be okay, but again, that doesn't really tell us too much, besides the actual relative strength of, and the size of the religions, the actual troop compositions might be very, very different, you know, the, the Catholics might have really low tech or something like that. Liquidize my shares, and we've upgraded our bodyguard building again, so we should be able to get ourselves, yeah, another decent amount of retinues there. Not a huge amount, but it's going to help out a little bit. Now, how much is that going to give us in total, I wonder, in terms of retinue size? I could check from the retinue screen, or I could just wait and merge them, and that's a lot quicker. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. Um, 11,000 men in terms of pure retinue, that's pretty decent. Now, unfortunately, our levies have been pretty much smashed by those couple of last wars we had, so we can't really afford to go to war with Upland right now. But when their campaign starts picking up steam... We've got Knights of Columbus and Pope Solomon versus Upland and another order. 
Seems pretty much like King Webb, the monster of Upland, is going to win. No questions asked. And he's quite powerful. He does have the most power in this whole realm as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe now's not the best time then. We could start sowing descent, things like that. But I'd rather have my guys... Uh... Oh, we want to become excom excommunicated. Oh, no, excommunicated, firstly. Kind of can't believe I completely forgot about that. All right. Can you... Yes, he will. Awesome. You are forgiven, President, for your wrongings against me. All right, that's also going to increase our levy size just because our vassal is going to like us a little bit more. And we'll go ahead and bribe you. And we're going to go ahead and bribe... Maybe even revoke the rust of that guy's titles. He should have usurped one, right? Wait, did he actually have more land? What's he got? Florida Keys. Oh, he did have more land. Right, okay. Unless he did usurp that from a vassal. I'm not sure. We could always check the history, I suppose. Um, no, I actually just want to just want to check Florida Keys, though. Florida Keys, there we are. History. Uh, revoked. When was that? Yeah, he definitely revoked that one. Because that was two months ago. Uh, last month, I should say. Alright then, uh, we'll just continue revoking this guy's titles until we filled out our domain there. And again, I'd rather give away these tribal lands because they're really not going to do as much for us as this great land here will do. Um, revoke the county of... We can't revoke anything else from him because we've done it recently. Oh well, we can wait. I've given orders for a great feast to be hosted in Orlando. So, we've dedicated a lot of time this video to, to building ourselves up a, a decent amount. Revoking some titles, getting our domain up to a decent level. Obviously, we fought off those adventure threats. We've actually got a wife, which is insane. Um, we do need to... Well, Grimmin Arrow is increased by 20%. I think I'm going to flip over to Family Focus and actually try and get ourselves a genius-capable son. Someone who can uh, take over from us after we undoubtedly get killed by our physician. So, I mean, our wife doesn't dislike us. So, this should just be a case of waiting, unfortunately. I'm kind of surprised they actually haven't had a kid already. All of my vassals will be there. Awesome. And as long as we keep our vassals on side, keep our retinues tall. 25,000 men, you know, we could uh, realistically at this stage probably fight Upland and win it. With good commanders as well. We, we will probably be fine. Um, next episode, I think we could go for a really major, massive war. Try and break them up as much as possible. You know, really work along here. Maybe start moving out into the... What the hell has happened here? Um, this is all ours. This is actually all of ours. Oh my god, we've almost cut a swath across America. That would be really cool if we could take, just take the whole south. This is Texas, right? Around here. Yeah, Dallas. I definitely know that Dallas is in Texas. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, good job, vassals. They're actually doing most of the work for me here. Sweet. Um, I'll offer you my patronage, sure. And we're looking for entertainment for the feast. I'm just going to quickly blast through this because I'm sure everybody's seen this event 100,000 times. Spend enough on food to satisfy people's hunger. I hereby invite you. Now, we'll take note of people who say no and actually bribe them, or at least mark them as special interest so we can bribe them later on. Colonel Hubert, or Humbert, whatever his name is, doesn't want to join us. Oh, apparently it's going to be almost all of our vassals. What a shock. We good? Oh no, it actually wasn't that bad then. Welcome to my feast. One more dance. People approve of my musicians. Became close friends with Colonel Atlas the Noble. That's really, really good because he was a vassal that didn't like us very much, and his opinion of us is... Wait, even though we're close friends? Really? Oh, I feel like that event lied to me. Okay, we won't worry about it then. Judge Tamman cut the throat of one of my servants. When the clumsy man spilled wine on his garb, we imprisoned him and immediately gained just. Excellent. Thank you very much. I'll definitely take that. Let's go make our vassals again. Like us a little bit more. Vassal opinion increased by five for five years. Oh, all the vassals that actually turned up, that is. And again, we also know who we want to who we want to bribe here, too. Or all the vassals we actually kind of have to win over a little bit. This guy's a different religion. Evangelical? Hmm, we definitely need to get rid of that pretty quickly. Um, yeah, he's definitely going to be the first guy to bribe on the list. What, how much does he want here? 147 gold. Okay, we'll wait a little bit more. So we'll wait a little bit more. There we go. Bribe him. Get a conversion. There we go. Awesome. And now, obviously, he likes us a lot more because we're the same religion. So we'll take him off the list. Uh, we've got this guy, Humbert of Sandhills. I don't know why he refused because he actually really doesn't dislike us too much. Commonwealth of Carolina. Yeah, because of all these kingdom level titles... We are a little bit of a disadvantage. I could start dissing them out, but I want I want your guys' feedback on that before we actually do so, because I'm not entirely sure whether it's the best idea. What I'll do then, to avoid getting into this trap of keep playing tall and, and doing things here and there, between episodes, I'll put in the work and, um, you know, bribe some vassals here and there, build up our realm, I'll um, build up our retinues as well as when I can and buff up our provinces. I'll try not to do anything major at all, so, so no wars. Um... Rebellions, I will take note of and mention it if it's relevant, but I, I don't want us to be in this constant sort of big video of warfare, big video of doing nothing, big video of warfare, big video of doing nothing all the time. 
I want us to actually have a decent balance for it. So I'm going I'm to do some things between episodes here. Just so we don't run on for the next four hours. <laughs> building up, getting ourselves into a good position where we can fight off Upland. Thank you for watching. Again, leave any criticism or advice. If you've got any comments, I read them all. And a shout out to all my top tier, best of the best patrons. Sean Thornton, Danny Good, Zachary Harris, Lucas Holting, Haydog, Gabriel Vanders, Josh Lynn, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, and Conspiracy. And of course, everybody else who has backed me on Patreon as well. Brandon Ratoniak, Jens, Necrophilant, Felix Deal, Prince of O, What's This, Noble S, Quetlarch, Klee, Zal Reven, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Sheev, Palpatine, I'm the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Yoran DeVries, Euphrates, Dunkony217, Salaki, and Jordan Campbell. I'm going to start streaming, streaming on Twitch a lot more. I want to become an affiliate. Not for any reason besides the fact that I want to say I'm a Twitch affiliate, because I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you next episode.